Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I want to show you how to get Dreamcast up and running on your Windows PC. Now this is the emulation build that I did a few weeks ago. Everything that I've thrown at it runs really good. There are several ways to set this up. We're going to be using Null DC, one of the best, if not the best, Dreamcast emulator for Windows. There are different ways you can set this up. You can get Null DC, then download the BIOSes and everything like that. But the easiest way that I've found and the way that I'm going to show you right now, in my opinion, is the best. First, you're going to need some games. I have Marvel vs. Capcom 2, Shamu, and Sonic Adventure 2. I also have an Xbox One S controller connected to the PC with a USB cable. We're going to open up a browser. Doesn't matter what browser you're using. It could be Internet Explorer, Edge, Chrome, Firefox, anything. In the search bar, type in Null DC Final. And you'll find something that looks like this. Null DC 1.04 final with BIOSes. Very easy to find, guys. This is the best way to go. You're going to download it. It's going to come as a zipped file. Now I have mine on my desktop. Right here, Dreamcast. Right click. Extract to Dreamcast. Now there are other ways to set this up. You can download the BIOSes yourself and set it all up. This is the easiest way, guys. So, we're now ready to start the Null DC Dreamcast emulator. Very easy. Double click the application, and we're up. If you have an Xbox One controller or an Xbox 360 controller, it's already pre configured for you. But if you have something else like a Logitech, we're going to need to go to Options, Select Plugins, Controller Port A. From here, we're going to go to is it Puro Puro? Then we're going to check Puro Puro again. And one more time. Press OK. Now we can go to Options, Maple, Port A, Configure Keys for Player 1. And you can just set this up very, very easily. If I click on here, now my button set. I just set it with an Xbox One controller. But since it works fine with Xbox One out of the box or Xbox 360, I'm just going to go to select plugins here. And I want to do X input, controller X input. None. None. So now that that's set up, uh, make sure you got your controller set up. Like I said, if you're using a Logitech or something like that, you can set it up just like I showed you. We're now ready to play some Dreamcast games. We'll go to System, Start. This is going to open up a image selector. So we need to select what game we want to play. And you'll navigate to where your games are. Mine are under Documents, ROMs. We're going to start Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Up in the top left hand corner here, we have our FPS listed. So now that we're up and running, if you want to change anything else, we can go to Options, Null DC Settings, Full Screen. I have mine checked, Auto Hide Menu. It'll auto hide the top bar after you don't touch the mouse for like five seconds. It'll auto hide it for us. There are tons of settings in here. We have Show FPS, Aspect Ratio, Stretch. Or we can go to the normal 4.3. My controller's already set up, ready to go, Xbox One controller. And I'll just show you how it performs here. So everything that I've tested so far within the Null DC Dreamcast emulator runs very well. As long as you have a decent setup, it should run really good for you also. This thing has an i3-4170 CPU. Clocked at 3.7 gigahertz, an AMD 270X graphics card with 2 gigabytes of RAM, 8 gigabytes of DDR3, and a Western Digital Blue 500 gigabyte hard drive.
Sometimes you might want to go back up and just check a couple more settings here. We can go to aspect ratio, go back to stretch here. And like I was saying, you can see it's stretched out a little bit. Sometimes games do glitch at the 4.3 aspect ratio. You get a couple lines through the sprites. There's really a lot of stuff to mess with within this emulator, and there are tons of tutorials online already, guys. I just wanted to show you how to get this up and running very quickly. I mean, you can have this up and running in under five minutes if you set it up and you download the correct version. I really appreciate you watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe because I got a lot more coming. And uh, if you want to see anything else running on this emulation PC, let me know in the comments below and I'll try my hardest to get to it as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.